guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today I'm going to be trying for the first time to make some Mauritian curry. And I've been kind of craving it as well. To be honest, I'm not that great of a cook. I'm really not that great, but I do enjoy doing it still. So we're going to try to do it today. Maybe have my mum try it. She's not going to be on camera, but we'll have her like, you know, comment, do a little comment on it. And obviously we're just going to enjoy it after making it. Before we jump onto the video, we're going to do our post notification shout out. And today's one goes to Zai Zai. So thank you so much for your sweet comment. She's sending you lots of love all the way to Mauritius. And I know all you guys, all you Mauritians out there are going to love this video. So yeah, let's show you the ingredients. So we've got some chicken. We have a lot because there's a lot of people in this house. Uh, potatoes, onions, garlic, tomatoes to chop up. Then we're probably going to need some Mauritian masala. Mauritian masala. Where does my mom keep it? Would you get the Mauritian masala? No. I'm trying to get no help from my mom right now, but this is the curry moisian. Curry moisian basically Mauritian masala. It has a different smell, scent I guess, to normal masala. Like it's got a, a peculiar scent, this one. And my mum has like, um, um, I forgot what is this called. What is this leaf called? My hands are clean by the way. Things kai? Fake kai? Oh, I don't know. Kai poisson? No. Oh, I don't know now. But anyway, it's got those leaves that we need, curry leaves that we need to put in there. In the, in the curry. All right, we also need some turmeric powder, obviously, some turmeric, haldi, haldi. Um, this video is probably going to be all over the place, but we also need some water and then coriander at the end, I guess. But let's start cutting things up, shall we? Are we going to see my big belly? I need to go work out after this because obviously with all the food I've been eating. So we're going to get one large onion I don't have the fanciest utensils maybe in the future I'll upgrade all our kitchen utensils okay so you take the skin off like this and then we're gonna wash it I like to cut them quite thin to be honest not thin thin but I do like squares so I do cut one side and then I do gosh I hate when the tomato what the, the, the onion separates this let me not cut my finger that's enough and then we'll do the other side I'm gonna start crying soon so I try to do this bit really quick because onion is not my best friend. Oh, see, my eyes are burning already now. Woo! Guys, I'm crying. Oh. <laughs> okay, so this bit, I just kind of cut like the extra skin off the chicken. Let me know if you guys wash your chicken because on each. Oh, no, no, we need to put that. We need to put the onion away. Yeah, let me know if you guys wash your chicken because on each like chicken pack it says warning do not wash your chicken before cooking but we've like always washed our chicken you know like i wonder why it says that i don't eat the skin but like i know my siblings do so i've always wanted to do this for this video but never got around to doing it so i was like you know what i'm gonna film this video all right now we're gonna heat up this and take some vegetable oil I mean, that might be a bit much, but that's okay. My mum puts like five times that amount. Right, we're gonna put our onions in there. And we are gonna let that cook for a bit. We are gonna. Uh, prepare the potatoes so you need to peel them first I mean I think it would be easier if you prepare everything beforehand do you know what I mean get those carbs in you want to make sure that you cut the potatoes in fours 
like so. And also make sure that you wash them well because you don't want your meal tasting like dirt, obviously. Bring you back over here quickly. We're gonna put all our chicken pieces in there. Because it's just gonna like cook it a little bit, give it some colour. Right, I've got a bigger, bigger pan. So I'm gonna let that just get some colour a little bit. I think I'm just gonna add the potatoes in now. That's so satisfying. So yeah, like I said, we're just gonna let that cook for like a few minutes. It's already smelling like really nice. And I even haven't, haven't even put like all the spices and stuff. By the way, no one can eat spicy in this house, so I'm gonna put my own chilies when I eat it. As that's cooking over there, we're gonna cut two tomatoes. You can do like chunky pieces. And then you also want to get make sure you get all the juice in the bowl. Three big tablespoons of your curry powder. Maybe put a little bit more because we do have a lot of food here. And make sure you get like all your curry leaves and everything. Maybe I'm putting too much here, okay? Don't judge me. <laughs> you then want one tablespoon of turmeric. We've got ginger garlic paste already like bought, so I'm just going to use that. So I'm going to use two big tablespoons of that. Maybe a bit more, you can't have too much garlic. I'm also going to put in a glass of water. I'm going to mix this. I'm going to put maybe half a cup more. I don't measure things, okay? I don't measure things. So I'm going to mix this. So we're going to pop this in here. It is kind of pasty to be honest. I made so much. I might add more water later on to give it more sauce. I haven't added salt yet. I'm going to do that later. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. Let's go and keep that, need that to cook. I'm going to cover this. I'm going to let that cook. I just washed it. That's why it's wet. Right guys, I'm just going to let that simmer for a bit, maybe add um, water as I need to go, like it's up to you if you want to add more water. Um, I'll try and give some guidelines in the info box if I can, but like when I cook food, like salty foods, like, I never really measure. Um, but when it comes to cakes and stuff, I have to measure, otherwise it just doesn't turn out good. But yeah, I'm just going to let that cook, maybe like 20 minutes or so. But um, after like five minutes, I'm going to check the water and see if I need to add more and then let it cook for a good 20 minutes. But yeah, I'll be back soon and hopefully be ready by then and with some rice. Alright guys, so the curry is now ready. It looks really young. I actually cannot believe I made that. Where's my full pen knife? You can go get them yourself. Mm. I did enough work. Guys, it looks so young. Look at that. So yummy. I have a feeling maybe I cooked it a little too much. Where's a drink? In the fridge. Should I get ice cubes? No. I had to kill when we drank it. No. You should drink desperate. You didn't desperate then. Right guys, there's Why some... Why is mine messy? There's lots of sauce. Right guys. The cucumber. Oh. There is some background noise, but that's because my, my brother has his friend over, so... I just think background noise is nice to have, you know, just a little bit, you know, a little bit. 
God! I already. <gasps> hey! Did you see her eyes? She's like, oh, food. She's acting like she can't sit down because it's plastic. No, stop. What the hell? I mean, you do eat a lot. To be honest. Yeah, but have you seen how much is in my plate right now? Yeah, but you eat a lot. <laughs> Who eats with a fork? You gonna eat with your hands? I'm gonna eat with a spoon. I was thinking to eat with my hands, but we're not gonna go that far. My mum will be making some comments because obviously it's the first time I've made this, so she's gonna see if it's good or not. But she's not. She's just gonna be sitting over there, you know, just sitting over there. I realise I always repeat myself. I don't know why. Is there enough salt? I don't know if I've got enough salt. Mm. That's really nice. Thank you very much. Is it like oh, mine? No, it's a No, I don't think I'm queer. I'm more. What? <laughs> what is this stereotyping? Bien bon, Sam. Bien bon. Je pas moi et toi. No. Mon papa m'a marié encore. Mon Tu sais pas que tu sais 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 Tu fermes les yeux, t'as l'impression de manger le carré de poule de maman. Ah, mais t'es fin derrière. Mm. Maman, on te nise. Mais c'est dans la table, mais moi je t'ai fermé. Il a dit qu'il va goûter. Mm. I asked Antoine's friend, I heard you like Indian food. I heard you like Indian food. And he was like, yeah. I was like, well, if you want to try some, you can try some. He's like, no, I'll try some. Really? Yeah. Ça pique pas? Mon masala il est bon? Où t'as eu ça, le masala? Tonton. Ce masala, ça pique. Tonton, débat. Mmh. Il est trop bon ça. I'll put subtitles, guys, if we're like talking a different language. Why is my play the only one that looks like a mountain? Yeah, but you got lots of potatoes. I eat really fast. Oh, bon, ça. Tu te rends compte, j'ai fait ça? Bah, tu peux continuer, hein? J'ai mes propres mamans. C'est bien. Moi aussi, je pourrais faire ça si j'essaye. Bah, vas-y, j'essaye. Bon, on est. <laughs> She's like, I can do it if I try, but I never see you cook before. Yeah, you know how to cook the roquefort cheese. Oh yeah. Oh, in the enchilada. She does cook every now and then. She cooks every now and then. I've got some sauce on my Adidas t-shirt. Can you believe that, guys? I want chili. You have the chili? Okay. If we don't have chilies. I'm not eating. Them. How can you not like it? I'm literally in like a pig right next to you. I feel like people are just watching me. And what else they're doing? <laughs> you don't need to go to a restaurant, people should look at you. I mean, you can go if you want to. If you feel um, uncomfortable. I'm not Tu gardes, tu donnes quelle note, maman? Ten out of. How much would you give? I think this is ten out of ten. Maybe nine point five. <laughs> this literally tastes like my grandma's one. Yeah, exactly like mama. I should. It's too bad she's not here anymore to taste this. She would be like, mmm, bien bon, ça. She would be very proud. 
My plate is almost empty. The bottom is done. Did you buy the light? What? Hmm? What risotto? Risotto is so hard to make. Though. Oh yeah. I don't so like the. Is it like supposed to be liquidy or dry? I don't get it. We'll see. <laughs> oh, you've never made it before. No. <laughs> when you're going to make? Oh, Nandi. So make it, make it video. You can post as well your risotto. Put it. You can open a restaurant, Anushka. I don't know, it's a time, huh? No! <laughs> <laughs> You're so mean. <laughs> if you, have, you cook like this, Anushka, of course, you will get... I will get customers paying for this food. Of course. Not to toot my own horn, you know. But I'm so proud of my little dish. I can't believe I made this. At first, I was second guessing, because... You know, I was tasting it, I thought, oh, I put too much masala. <coughs> <laughs> Sky. But yeah, it was tasting a little bit grainy, like from all the powder. But you just have to like let it simmer for a bit. Like I let it simmer for a good 30, 40 minutes to be honest. Because I did make a lot as well, like a lot. Yeah, because you're a big family. Mm. Let it simmer. And also my mum said put a little bit of vinegar, so I put vinegar in it. No, my little put tamarind. But... Tamarind? Yeah, good. But... But it's replaced the vinegar, replaced the tamarind. Oh. But honestly, it's so good. My New Year's resolution is to eat healthy. Tantan, Sarah. Eating healthy. <laughs> well, yo, you were screwed then. <laughs> yo, <laughs> you didn't stick to your New Year's resolution. No, do you know what? Yeah, when I'm at work, I eat really healthy. I barely eat anything. Like I have my, my breakfast, which is dairy free yogurt, granola, fruit, a bit of honey. If I don't get that, I get like the coconut yogurt from Pret and that's still kind of healthy as well. And then, for lunch I have salad and chicken. And then in the evening that's where I go a bit wrong and I go a bit heavy because I'm starving and I'm tired and I just want to eat food. Shame. In the cucumber salad, we put a bit of onion, vinegar, and olive oil. And then it's just nice with this curry. I'm all set. I was starting to feel sorry for my future kids. Because I really don't know how to cook. <laughs> but at least I can. You should have learned. I feel sorry for your future kids. Everything, when I die, you have no, my I, recipe. You can say, smell mummy, food in the house. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a big thumbs up and share it with all your Mauritian friends and family or just people who just love, oh, yeah. love food in general. And yeah, thank you for watching. And if you want more videos like this, let me know in the comments. <laughs> so basically, you know the whole burping situation? And basically, it, it came from my mum and then it descended to her. Okay? <laughs> I tried to hold mine and then you hear mum in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, it's natural guys, okay? All you guys that comment about it is so natural. Well, thing. Is Just give me a let me know if you do want to see more videos like this. Um, and if, if you do, let me know what like dishes you want to see. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one.